Hello there, I'm Ole Brugger and welcome to my YouTube channel. I got a new 3D printer and I'm quite excited about this. This is the Elegoo Saturn S and besides me here I have my old printer which has served me pretty well and made a ton of prints. This is the Elegoo Mars, a bit smaller printer, but it has done very well for me. But let's see what's in the box. Well, let's get this box open. I just can't wait to see what's inside. I really love the packaging of the way Elegoo package up the printer. Oh, and here we have the toolkit. We'll get back to that later. Yep, there's a ton of plastic. But uh, I think it's necessary to keep the printer safe. Well, I'm gonna make it dirty over time. Ooh, and now for a nice peel. This is the print bed. Look at the size of that thing. And compared to the Elegoo Mars Pro, it's huge, three times the size. Let's remove the tray. And what's inside the toolkit? Oh, this is the air filter. This is new for the Saturn S. It's directly powered from the bottom with, with a USB. And a cutting tool. Power supply. Power cord. Tools. Screws. Metal spatula. And a plastic spatula. And the most important stuff, the USB stick. Then we have some filters for reusing the resin, gloves to begin with, and some masks. Quick start guide, and a leveling sheet. And a nice little peel before we boot up the printer. Power on. And I think it boots pretty fast. It's actually faster than the Mars Pro. Look, done. Let's remove the tray so we can level the printer. Ooh, another peel. There's another protective uh, film. Uh, we shouldn't remove that. Let's raise up the arm so we can mount the build plate. And I loosened all the screws and set the printer to home. And then we are tightening both of the screws. And it's level and we are done. Ready to print. Here you can see the USB for the air filter. So important to unpack the carbon filter before using the filter, otherwise it won't work.
and it's just plugging it in. And you don't have to worry about recharging batteries. One thing to notice is that they actually specific say in the manual that don't use this USB port for anything else but this filter. I also got this uh, water washable resin. I've never used that before, so I'm looking forward to see how it works. Let's fill this up. I used uh, Shiru Box 1930 to cut up a minifigure from Loot Studio. On the left you have Saturn S and on the right you have Mars Pro. And I spent a whole bottle on these two printers. And the files were loaded to this USB stick. And we can start the print. And we're done. The Saturn S is slightly faster than the Mars Pro, but it's not much. It was about 10 minutes in difference on these two minis. And the configuration of both were the same. The slicing was the same. So I think 10 minutes, that's not much. And now, I want to see how easy it is to wash up these minis in just hot water. Usually I use isopropyl alcohol, but this works pretty good. Oh, this build plate is just so big. But it works so well with hot water, and then I can just clean it up without using isopropyl alcohol. I think I'll never go back to the old stuff of the resin. This is the future. Oh, it pops off so easy. I really like the new surface on the new build plate. And here you can see the detail isn't that much in difference. I even tried to uh, put some speed paint on both minis just to highlight the details. And I think it's almost the same. The Saturn just has slightly more details, but it's not much. And the first big print and the second print. And here you can see the result of what I printed over the weekend. I even had time to paint one of the minis. I printed some interior for my modular house. I'm not done with that yet. And about 48 minis. And my first huge print. This black dragon. Eight pieces, six and a half hour, one print. To compare, this red dragon was printed on the old printer and it took 37 hours. Seven pieces and five prints. Well, I must say, I'm really excited about this printer. It's such an upgrade from the old one. And uh, it's not just so much about the quality of the print because yes, it improved a bit, but I could live with the quality from the old printer and it was awesome. But it's more like it's the volume. I've printed all this over the weekend and it would have taken me a week to print on the old printer. And that's what excites me uh, the most uh, is the production speed uh, of making a ton of minis. Well, for now it's uh, just all the painting and that will take the usual time. I don't think I can speed that up at all. But I also have another project I'm not finished with. My house here. Um, this <laughs> is not uh, done yet, but uh, with this new printer, I have printed a lot of interior. So I think I should finish up within a, a few days, um, maybe more. But 
thank you for watching. I will uh, leave a link in the description for the printer. Um, and I hope to see you soon with this house. Thank you for watching. Bye.